Hi Libras, thank you for viewing me today. I am doing your general spread. I'm going to get some cards right now. If it sounds like something you are going through, this is your reading. This is how I resonate with people. I have the balancing act. Oh, <laughs> you are the scales. Oh boy, you're trying to have patience with something and have faith in something at the same time, I feel. All right, let's get some cards. This is good for all placements. Sun, rising, moon, Venus for Libra. Whatever resonates best for you. If it sounds like I said your current energies, this is your reading. All right, let's go. Spirit guides, thank you. Show me uh, current energies for Libras. Thank you, Spirit. What would you like to show me? A few cards. Strongest energies. There's a balancing act right there. Huh. Around the sign of Libras. Anything else? For the sign of Libras. Thank you. I have a few flippers. I have... Uh, Follow the leader and slow and steady. Gemini got slow and steady too. It must be an air thing. I can't wait to do Aquarius now. Slow and steady. Follow the leader. This is something right now that is a balancing act. It's like you're trying to be patient. You, it's like you don't really want to follow the leader, but I think you're doing it just to appease certain things around you, I feel, right now. And I have moonlight. All right, let's take a look. What are they trying to show me here? I have the compass. I'm gonna got this is so weird. I have uh, encouragement with strength. I feel that spirit wants me to tell you right now that you know some things in life are always playing out in divine timing, and we can't see what's before us. But spirit wants me to tell you that stay in a place of optimism, encouragement, light, so things can come together for you. And this is really. You have the world in one hand and you're in a balancing act with strength. Spirit says, hold on a little bit longer. Just wait for some winds to shift. The last card they gave you is the dragon's lair. Wow. It's almost as if I feel that there's things around you that are just a little frozen at the moment. But spirit wants me to tell you that the gates to your dragon is about to open up and I love dragons they are a mystical creature of power and wisdom and you know I'm talking about the beautiful side of dragons because but they are the mystical creatures of the world wow that is beautiful I'm gonna look at your recent past a little bit then what is coming in for you and then left crossing at the end I have the hermit recent past and I have it with a lot of hope faith and healing from the things you couldn't see the moon Hmm. Something though ate at your brain. I have the Nine of Swords under that. Recent past for my Libras. Hmm. Follow the leader. Strength. All right, let's see. Recent past for my Libras, please. Thank you, Spirit. What would you like to tell me a little bit about the recent past for Libras? Okay. King of Pentacles, King of Money. I have a tower moment. And I have something that you truly wish for. And you started to have a new truth about something. The Ace of Swords is a card of truth, clarity, victory. But I feel that there was something around you. The King of Pentacles is the King of Money, success, Taurus energy. I'm not going into love till the end, but I feel you had an epiphany about something. And it had to do with your stability being a success at, at where you were at or something you were going through. You had a new truth, and I think it's about what you truly wanted in life, your wishes. Sometimes we forget about our wishes because we try to make everybody else happy. Three of Wands, uh, it's telling me that you were in a position of you knew something was going to come towards you sooner or later. You've been waiting. You've been waiting, waiting, waiting. Two of Cups in reverse. Ooh, you stood your ground about something, and it's with the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles is... You know, stability energy, but I feel you stood your ground about the things and people that you wanted to come together for you with love and with the people you couldn't be on the same page with. And then you came into some page wands energy, eager to get something new started. Coming into your current energies right now, you, you really, really want new things in your life. And Spirit is saying, have the strength to know that something before you is coming in slow and steady. 
and it's going to bring you to a place of freedom. That's what I feel. I do. I feel freedom. All right, let's look at what's coming in for you. I'm going to use, who am I using? All right, let me just see this. Hold on a second. Who do I want to use? All right, try here. Wisdom of the Oracle. Go the distance with community, message in a bottle, and loyal hearts. But that's under the deck. Let's just see. Incoming strongest energies, the cards I need to see for my beautiful Libras. Thank you, Spirit. Next week, two weeks. Show me what I need to see, please. Strongest incoming energies <laughs> for the. Thank you. Sign of Libras. Thank you, Spirit. What else do you want to show me for Libras? Thank you. Anything else? Something's coming together for you. This is the, this, I have community. And I'm going to, they have it with, okay, I got you. They have it with go the distance. You know, um, the skies are opening up. Everything is, the, the big and little giraffe are connecting. They want you to know that you're going to have the energy to go after something. I have orphaned in between worlds. Okay, this is really weird because I had picked these two cards up and I, that's why I said, huh? Like they wanted me to see the card underneath it because I wasn't going to take it. You see the orphan card and how it's, the flamingo is walking into the light towards new things, new opportunities, new beginnings, new life. Next card they gave me is new life. You guys, something's opening up for you. They want you to be flexible with it. Go with the winds. You know, one day if it isn't meshing, back off. When everything starts to flow, dive in. That's what I feel. I have the never-ending story, and then I have the unfinished symphony. Spirit wants to say, it's better for you to walk into the light than to stay in a place where you keep putting yourself that there's never an ending to it. Because what they want to tell you is walk towards the light because you have your milk and honey. It's right there. The let go of the things you can't control and control the things you can because you have a lot of new things coming in and everything is opening up for you and you're going to be going the distance. You're, you're, you're going. Oh, wow, Libras, that's powerful. Hold, you are turning into the dragon. <laughs> beautiful dragon spirit guys i am going to ask for a few cards to clarify these oracles oh i never know who's any of these decks nine of cups six of cups and the sun wow when you're in the sun you attract everything six of cups huh that's a beautiful connection let's just see nine of cups wish fulfillment incoming cards from our beautiful libras thank you spirit guides what would you like to show me Strongest cards and messages, thank you. For the sign of Libras, thank you, Spirit. Strongest cards, messages for my beautiful Libras. About these oracles, thank you. Anything else? I'm done. Who's the flipper? All right, you see this card? Mm -hmm. Ten of Swords. Whatever you've been through is over, meaning. Anything that you felt has betrayed you, backstabbed you, spirit is saying the sun is before you. This is behind you. You're going on new ventures. You're going, some things are opening up for you. Queen of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and here comes big change to the world. They don't want you to hold back from something. They don't want you to hold back out of something I feel that, you have the world, you guys got the world with the sun and three of cups and there's a six of cups. Something's coming in for you. It's all coming together with love. Stay in the power of optimism. Don't get anything from the past and the shadows pull you back in. I have the queen of love. This is big love energy. Um, I feel that, you know, the incoming energies, you're going to be open to new things with love. Very water intuitive energy. I have it with the five of wands sideways. I have one more sideways card. Who is this? Ace of Swords. You know, I feel with the Queen of Water here, they want you to tap into your inner water intuition. Oh, that's an intuitive queen with love. 
And I feel that whatever things come your way that you feel are conflicts, you will have your truth and clarity with it as long as you view it with love. You'll understand everything. I have the four cups. This is telling me to tell you I have one card left to never give up on something you love because they want to tell you Libra's in the house justice. This is who you are, Libra's. My cards are lined up how I am supposed to receive them. You are coming into your own power. This is about everything that you've been fighting for, everything that you want. All your scales are about to be balanced. This is wow. This is beautiful. I just feel spirit wants to say, just be flexible. You know, you're just leaving a gray area right now. Just go with the winds. Everything's opening up for you because you have some milk and honey coming in, Libras. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful, Libras. Honestly, I felt beautiful energy from that. I am going to get a few messages from the Archangel Power Tarot cards from my spirit guides. And then I'm going to roll into Love Crossing if you've been dealing with someone. I'm just going to take a little sip of water. Pardon me. All right, let's see what they want to tell you. Two to three cards. Maybe one. I don't know. Let's see. Spirit Guide's strongest messages for my Libras today. You guys, you finished off this reading in the incoming energies. That was powerful. You know, and you have the sun and the world. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Two messages for the sign of Libras. Anything else you'd like to tell the beautiful sign of Libras today? Anything else? Okay. I knew it was going to be one more because whenever I get one, two, or one, two, it's always a third. The one on my lap, we'll stay there. I don't know what it is. First card they gave you is they gave you decision. Right here. Beautiful card. Release yourself from that which, which holds you back. A need to detox. A need for you to take more meditation time. Get more downtime. I'm sorry. Unnecessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. Okay, you guys. Release yourself from whatever thought patterns you've had. All right. I have to go over here. I, I just heard right, so I'm going with it. Four of Michael. Angel Michael has nothing to say to you. Insights that come from quiet meditation. The need for more sleep or time off. Seek relief from stress. I kind of sense it's the same message. Who's the last one they gave me? And then this is what they want to say to you. The Eight of Gabriel. Mm. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. See, I feel like they say, they're telling you, let something go. Come in back into your own beautiful meditate and then everything comes flying in at you. And that's, that is how life works. All right, you guys, thank you for viewing me. I am rolling into Love Crossing now. Thank you for all your love and support. If you're not dealing with anyone or don't care to know, I get it. Um, and have a beautiful day. And remember to hit the like button. Thank you. Now, love crossing. I'm going to get one deck. Oh, here. I, I, I'm pull. Which one? Over here. Okay. Strongest love crossing energies, meaning they may or may not be all your persons. Somebody wants to talk to you. Oh, well, let's hold on a second here. Let me do a good shuffle. Hmm, but they're in a lot of earthy energy. Barrett guides. All right. Strongest love crossing, please. Thank you, spirit guides. What do you want to show me? Strongest love crossing energies my Libras have been dealing with. Thank you. Strongest. Thank you, love. Anything else? I had a flipper. Who is it? Oh, it's the Queen of Wands. Oh, wow. It's a very determined queen. Very charismatic queen. Knight of Love. I knew I was feeling something. And then it's the Two of Swords. I, <laughs> why do I feel like it's someone who is in between a place of wanting to come in? A lot of determination with the Knight of Wands. But it's somebody who still looking at things that emotionally have hurt them they are an introspection about a reunion i don't know what happened but that's i see the hermit that's like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. knight of so swords is sideways uh, to my left the knight doesn't know whether they want to talk about it or not why i have the world because something here really isn't over and it's sideways seven of cups is in reverse and it's with the five of wands well 
Um, I don't really think that's, that's a lot of passionate energies, five of wands, but the seven of cups is in reverse. It's a person who feels like they're so messed up with things going on around them that they don't even really think about the choice of love right now. They're, they do, they want to talk to you. They just feel that things between the two of you, they're not over. What's going on here? I got Ace of Wands and here comes the Chariot and I have one card left. So the Chariot, Cancerian, doesn't have to be, but it's telling me this is someone who is using their intuition through things in their life right now, in which direction to go. And um, they're all about passionate brand new opportunities. They want things to open up and blossom around the two of you. And the last card out, but they always feel they have to protect their energies from you about something. Nine of Wands. I don't take sides. I'm just saying what the cards are saying. So I don't know. Uh, let's see what their intentions are because somebody here wants to talk to you, but they, they don't want something here to be over. But they feel like you two being on the same page has been difficult lately. All right. Hermit mode introspection, huh? Okay. Let me look at their intentions towards you. See the hermit, that kind of scares me a little bit. Somebody could be a little bit withdrawn. Doing a little introspection. Six of Pentacles, Sun, Ten of Swords, Five of Swords. Why is that there? Five of Pentacles. Oh, I don't even want to go here yet. Spirit Guides, Love Crossing Intentions. Thank you. Somebody's holding something back. I don't know what they're holding back, but let's find out. Love crossing intentions towards my Libras next few weeks. What do you want to show me? Thank you. Love crossing intentions towards Libras. Anything else? Love crossing intentions. <laughs> Five of Swords. Don't like that card. Ten of Swords. The Sun. Six. Oh, same cards from before. And then I have the Devil with. Four of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. All right. Their intentions? They want to stay in the sun with you. And I, I mean, you know, the sun is about a place of equal give and take and more optimism. But they feel that words between the two of you is always putting something here to like a hurtful completion. Some type of word manipulation. I, I don't know what's going on here yet, but I will. Page Cups, Six of Swords. Could be someone at a distance, feels at a distance. But it's somebody who does have love for you. Page Cups. It's very immature love. What else we got here? Hold on. King of Pentacles. Uh, this is someone who's really focused on their money, their stability, being a success. Page of Swords. They haven't forgotten you. But right now, I'm going to tell you their intentions. Right now, I feel they're very focused on something to do with money work, success, they're just holding back from offering love. And if you're reading even just said kind of like go with the winds and everything will come to you. Don't this person in the next few weeks, they're just, I feel like they, they love you. They, they, they think about you, but they're really concerned on their stability and money right now. They're trying to be a success. They'll come in when the time is right, but right now they're just, not focused on love. And, you know, sometimes when somebody gets in that energy, it's best to take 10 steps backwards. Let them figure it out. Why is the devil showing up with the four of pentacles, 10 of one? Things in their life feel that they've just become a giant weight and they feel chained to them. But you're still, you're, I'm going to tell you, right, Libra, you're still their wish and they're just waiting for things to change in their world to play out in divine timing. And they're being very patient about this. They're trying to work on this. I just feel that, you know, they want everything to come together with you. I got three of swords, three of cups, chariot, page of wands. They just want, I just feel like whoever you've been dealing with, timing is off for this person. So three of cups could represent other things, but I don't feel that. I feel it's about a reunion. But right now, whoever you've been dealing with is very focused on something in their life right now. You know, and then your reading was just kind of like step back and let it come to you. This is what I have for you today, my beautiful Libras. I hope it helped you. you. Guys, if it did, remember to hit the like button. Thank you. And thank you for all your love and support, my beautiful Libras. Wishing everyone many beautiful blessings and have a beautiful weekend.